Hello guys, welcome to Photographers Academy. Happy new moon to you guys. So in this new moon, we are just bringing to you this amazing tutorial on how you can copy any color grading from any image to your own image. Okay, let's say you saw this image and you love the color grading. So you want to have this same color grading on your image, on this image. So I'm just going to walk you through on how you can achieve that. So by the way, this image was gotten from Data Studio for this practical exercise. So the first I'm going to do is just to, let me drag this. Okay, I've already dragged this image to here. Okay, as you can see, look at that. So I'm just going to copy from this, this color grading effect to this, okay? So I'm just going to come here, come to my layer, come to my adjustment layer, choose my curves. So I'm using curves for this. Make sure you highlight on this. Make sure you are here. So I'm just going to pick, as you can see, this picker. You can see the lightest place, the medium and the darkest place. So I'm just going to start sampling from the lightest place to the darkest place of this image. Okay. So let me double click here. Color picker will pop up. I'm just have to sample the brightest place. Where's okay. Then it will say save the new target color as default. I'll say no. So I just have to sample the lightest place here. As you can see, say yes. Okay. So come to the mid tone, the same thing. Double click. Go to the mid tone. Look at that. You know. So just look at the mid tone here. And then put, look at that. Okay. As you can see, it's almost coming close. Okay, so I'll just come to that to the darkest place. Also, do the same thing. Look at that. Click here. So now, just come to here. Just move around till I, I get what I'm looking for. Just have to move around. Sorry, look at that. Okay, so look at that. So look at the before, look at the after. So I'm not going to do another color grading on this. I'm just going to add some little adjustment on this. Use my selective color. Increase the reds. Include the magenta so that it will come close to this. Look at that. It's almost close, guys. So look at that. Include the yellow a little. So as you can see, it's very close to this. So I'm just going to group them. Look at before, look at after. So if you notice the adjustment is all over the image, but we just want it on my skin tone. Okay. So I'm just going to click on my layer max ctrl i to invert use my brush and paint okay well let me just hide this so that i can print properly look at that so once i'm done Let's see the before and after. Look at before of this image. Look at the after. So as you can see, it's almost close to this. This is exactly what we want. Okay. Look at before. Look at the after. So I've just I've been able to copy the color grading of this image to this. Okay. Look at before. Look at after. So what if I want to export it as a lot so that I can always use it on any other image? So it's very simple. I'm just going to come to my file, come to this, open it. Come to my file, exports, color lookup. Okay, so once you see this, it's very simple to handle. Once you see this coming up, so it's very simple to handle. So just come to your background layer here, your background image here, go to your layers, new, background from layers. So once you click on it here, 
So you just come back again. Five. Export. Look up. Okay, look at that so that you can be able to save it anywhere that you want to save it. Rename it as save it. So make sure it's on cube so, so that you can just save it. So after that, I've already saved my, so I'm not going to save again. So let's say I've saved my, so I want to import it to use in another image. So let's say I want to import it. I'll just come to my color lookup. Wood. Look at that. So look at that. I'll just click on it. Ah, look at that. So as you can see, I can just use my Ctrl I to impact and use my brush to paint. Okay. So guys, this is how you can create your color lookup. This is how you can create your color lookup from beginning to end. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. Please do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and always turn on your notification button to get notified each time we drop a new video. Thank you.